Hello, in this video, I'm gonna explain how to charge your HP NVX 360. To charge it, you'll need to use a USB uh, USB-C charger, and I'm gonna explain which ones are good enough to charge your laptop, because mm, laptops are not um, use more power than phones, so they can't be charged with all phone chargers, only with the more powerful ones. So first I'm gonna show you the original charger that's included in the box. So I have it here, it looks like this. And on one end it has the plug, on the other end it has the USB-C port. So I can just plug it in, then plug it into the wall, and it'll start charging. As you can see, on this brick right here, which is in the cable, it says 65 watts. So this charger will be fast enough to actually charge my laptop, um, because it's included in the box, so it has to be uh, appropriate. Although if you don't have it with you, then you can use another charger. But I'm gonna show you, here I have a charging brick that's pretty small. And it says that it supports quick charge 3.0, but as I see here, it says 12, uh, 12 volts um, and 1.6 amperes. So when we calculate it, let's go to the calculator. It was 12 volts times 1.6 amperes. It's 19.2 watts. So it is ma uh, much less than the 65 watts. And if I plugged it in, I'm gonna do it now. It shouldn't work. It's not enough power to, um, to supply for this laptop. So I just plugged it into the wall. Now I'm gonna plug it into the USB-C port, which as you can see there are, the, there are two of them and they both should work. So I'm gonna plug it just in. Let me just rotate the screen. And as you can see here, the battery doesn't show a bolt next to it, which will mean that it's charging. And also next to the charging port, it doesn't light up the red light, which will indicate that it's charging. So what it means is just the brake isn't power powerful enough. So now I'm gonna show you another charger that I have. It's not the charger from the laptop. It's actually from Nintendo Switch. And you can see it's bigger. And as it says somewhere here, it says it has 30, 39 watts. So it's kind of less than the 65 watt charger, but when I plug it in, it should be enough. So I've just plugged it into the wall, now I'm gonna plug it into the port. And you can see it shows the battery with a bolt. So it indicates that the battery is charging right now, as you can see here. Uh, although it will be charging at a slower light rate than with the original charger that's 65 watts. So it just depends on the, um, on the power of your charger. Uh, the standard phone chargers may not be enough, but the bigger, faster ones may work. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.